So yeah, it's kind of a wow. He just did that after I was holding the A button. Cool, cool story, bro. All right. Oh my God. Do you? See? It just flings itself. Ah, oh, Jesus. Maybe I just need to get another one. Or what if? What if like my brother switched out his Wii remote with mine? Because we both got the Skyward Sword edition of this. Um, the first day it came out, and he was playing his a lot more, and he's kind of like kind of reckless with shit. So it wasn't this way. Uh, where it was actually this way. There's there's a chest. Oh my god! He just drops the A button by its. Oh my god! And then it's doing this shit again. You know, I'm starting to think that's probably the case. I just filled this with new batteries. <laughs> oh, controller woes. Why? Why must you do this to me? You know, it's not even really that much of a requirement to go through and do this. It's just all we're gonna have to really do with this first part is hit the button that activates the thing. Okay, all right, let's get rid of all this. Die, you're in a corner, you're pretty much asking for death right now. All right, so, you know, I don't know. We don't really need to take out any of the sand just to get to the switch and then call that good. All right, yeah, kill those assholes over there. I want that, I want that, I want that jelly. How do we get over there? It's over here, it's over here. Nope, that's the switch. We just keep going this way. Oh, oh ouch, don't hurt me. Okay, we're running over there because I know how to get there from here. No, it disappeared. Damn it. All right, so I guess if you had memorized this well enough, you'd be able to. All right, get at it. <laughs> it's like, guess who? <laughs> oh man. So if you knew this place good enough, you could just or well enough, you could just run through everything and then watch out for the spikes. I just do it because it's fun. All right, there we go. Twenty rupees. Thanks for the camera snap there, game. Really appreciate it. Really, really was looking forward to that. We've got this. <laughs> See, it's like, where's the sand going? Nowhere. We're just blowing it out of existence. That's what Link does. God, get out of here. I don't want to deal with your kind anymore. Go, go, be free. You know what they say, if you love something, you got to set it free. Well, that's what I'm doing, man. Setting you free. All right, and this is the button we have to press. That was weird. For some reason, I thought we had to go to that left side. Like, I made a mental note to myself. Hey, you got to make sure you go over here. If you don't, then you're going to be kind of screwed. All right, realign, please. Realign. There we go. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to do that. It, does it only happen when I'm recording? Is it my mic that's like moving it out of, you know, alignment? I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. I'm not, they're not even next to each other. Oh man, this part sucks. Okay, so this part I will concede is kind of annoying. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I don't, uh, you basically, you, okay, you have a time shift stone in this mine cart here, and what you have to do is you have to go along with it as it's moving, and then hide yourself from the Beemos that it presents itself with. So we're gonna go do that. Okay, so it'll make everything come to life, that's cool, but, you know, as it goes, because it'll be like a mobile, you know, moving of this thing, then that's just when it's gonna, you look at it, it just makes a platform for us, so that's cool, I'll admit that's cool, but it's gonna have a stupid Beemos in the way, and so we're gonna have to kill him when he comes alive, no, it's a freaking Centrobe, damn it, that sucks, anyway, that's the boss room up there, we literally need to do half the dungeon still, so, alright, come on, come alive, man, come alive, Peter Frampton style. All right, come on, baby. I know you want to. So he's going to be stuck there for a little bit. And so we have to kill this guy just to get him out of the way. All right, come on. Kill me. Shoot your missiles. Come on. I know this isn't, you know, ugh, I know this isn't a game that is Zelda, but oh my god, I'm way too close. Okay, we can actually go over here. Or does he even not notice me? Or should I just use my shield? All right, come here. Come on. It's like the, the aiming for, you know, or the aiming, the timing he has is really weird. All right, come on. Come on, big boy. I know you want to send your juniors out to us. Let's let's see what you got for me. Ugh. All right, and then this guy. Ugh. Oh, come on, that was weird. All right, now once more, so we can kill you. Now this is where all of the crap usually falls off. All right, we're gonna do this since we have the shield. There we go. Yeah. All right, that didn't even hurt me. All right, red rupee. <gasps> Two red rupees. Ugh. And no, no red rupee. Ugh. Okay, <gasps> third red rupee. Oh my God, sweet Jesus, that was a good that was a good run for a heart. I'll take it. Okay, very nice. Uh, I don't know if you can actually blow those guys away. I've never tried it before. But let's go open this thing. And this is that same room that we were in like 20 times before. The same one that I keep referring to. The main ob. Am I, am I off? I am off, aren't I? Oh, not that off, actually. Well, kind of. There we go. All right, so now this is where it gets a little bit annoying because you have to hide from the Beemos because you can't really kill him from here. So you just got to hide, hope that he doesn't see you. <laughs> Don't see me because sometimes they'll notice you even through the thing. Okay, okay, all right, come on. And then eventually he'll just go back to dying eventually because they don't rotate or anything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, he's dead again. Ouch, god damn. Oh, he's in the way, that's why. I forgot about this one. Okay, well, fine. I'll kill you, and then I'll kill you, and then I will stab you. Come on, man. I'm right over here. Come on, Rob. Are, Jesus, seriously? Are you? Mm, there we go. All right, that's what I wanted to do. 
I was going to drop all these. Now you'll notice all of these robot things don't drop hearts. Only the organic things drop the hearts, so just keep that in mind. But that's a cool little facet I thought they did, was that they kept the, they kept the, the robotic things dropping the money that, you know, would totally still work in today's society. It's like, we're not using the same currency we were using 100 years ago, I believe, or probably 100 years, probably like 150, I should say, at this point. All right, cool. So don't even think about it, man. Don't even, you can't even get me from here, can he? Okay, good. <laughs> he died. All right, so here, these are just here to kind of speed them up coming to this side if you want them to. But of course, it's kind of pointless because there's not much we can do about it. So now we can open this, this final door for this area. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, very nice. I'm listening to Brad is right now. I have to stop using my phone for listening to music because it's being really unreasonable. I think the USB port is like fucked up because it keeps showing my phone as, you know, my phone is plugged into some kind of uh, music, you know, listening to device, like a speaker or something. So every time I try to listen to it, it doesn't have like a volume meter, which is kind of annoying. All right, go away. Now, I do believe that up there is also, yep, it's blocked. As you as you would expect, it's blocked. All right, cool. Got some hearts. We have some hearts. Okay. So let's go ahead and destroy this thing. Now, some, you have to slice it like that. I don't know. Oh, God. Motion controls, I'm sorry. Oh, this part is really annoying too because we have to pretty much go to the end of this and then we have to come back just to open that door in the middle. And it's annoying because it just takes a little bit. So we have to be solid Link once again in the confines of Lanayru Mine. Can Link find his way without being intruded or without being caught as an intruder in the confines of Lanayru Mine? Yes. Star, you know, co starring Bemos. Let's go kill this guy actually while we have a chance. Ow! Jesus Christ. Ugh. No, I said, oh my god, seriously, half and half. And there. God damn this game. I swear to god, this game seriously just needs to not be so ridiculous sometimes. Okay. Then we have to do the thing here. Alright, but we have to wait for it to come to life, unfortunately. <laughs> god, you know, I was watching this guy, and usually, you know, I like watching kind of the younger, not the younger, but just, you know, the not as popular LPers, you know, and so, but this guy is playing Link to the Past, and you know, I really, I kind of like his older stuff because he's like Canadian and he has some pretty good movie or good LPs and stuff. Like he was always good with like the community and stuff, and it's pretty cool. Like I went on a podcast with him and he seemed like a really good guy. But then it was really annoying because how do we do this? Do we just hit it and then hit it again? I think that's what we do. Okay. But it was, but like I was watching his Link to the Past LP after not watching it for a while since he went on a hiatus. I guess like he had a divorce with his wife who also did LPs, which is kind of suckish because they're like my age practically. I think they're 23. But um, I was watching and like his Link to the Past album, all he was doing is like, and then we'll go over here and then we'll pick up that. Now make sure you go over here and we'll go pick up that. And then it's like, it was like painful to watch. So I watched like two or three episodes of this and I was like, this can't be the entire thing. And it was like really sad because it was. And it's like, Jesus Christ, man. I don't know, it's kind of a shame when people just kind of like turn this into a chore where they're just like, oh, this is what you do. Like, he said it's so monotone. And like, he would he like would make like 69 jokes. That's the only jokes he would make would be of the 69 variety. And it's like, oops, didn't want to get that close to it. It was like awful. <laughs> all right, these guys, you can all just go die. All right, just fall off, please. Or if you don't, okay, I guess maybe you just have to hit him for long enough. Ouch, get off my face, man. That wasn't very polite. All right, go fall off you guys please I'd really appreciate it there you go they're like ah oh, sweet Jesus <laughs> okay but yeah it's, it's, it's always kind of a shame when people have to go go like that not like like that but I don't know it's just kind of sad when people used to have such a I don't know such a passion I suppose and then all of a sudden they're just like but, nope, nope don't even think about it are you guys not gonna drop anything ever oh do I grab it okay good those things will hurt you by the way <laughs> just in case you didn't know okay let's go do this so if there's any episodes where I start being like eef, eef, and I'm sorry I don't really intend to because I freaking love this This is like something that I look forward to doing every day you know some days of course I'm not gonna really feel like you know making LPs but like when I like start to record you know compared to how I feel the rest of the day where I don't even want to interact with anybody not even my family and then I come to do this and I'm like hey guys if you know that's just it freaking makes my day, you know, to just start recording for you guys, and I don't know. I just, I don't want to turn it into what I saw of his. I'm not going to link it or anything, because that would be kind of dickish. 
but I just I don't want it to ever turn into something like every single game that I plan on doing I really want to just be like enthusiastic and be like yes I freaking you know I want to show you guys why I like whoops why I like this game so much or why I like any game that I'm doing by the way and you know Skyward Sword like I said it's kind of like not even really even in the top 10 for me but playing this I'm starting to feel a great appreciation for it and that's something I love about LPs is you get a greater, deeper appreciation for games you otherwise likely wouldn't have. And so like this, look at this. It's like this is always something that stuck out to me. It was this particular, you know, this particular dungeon. And I don't know if a lot of other people felt the same way. There's something kind of similar to it later. No, nope, I said, Jesus, do you see? I'm stabbing. It's like, okay, do you not know how to stab? Oh, damn it. You know, and it's, 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 yeah, that was dumb, but let's go run across as quick as we can. E okay, good. We made it. We made it. All right. All right, cool. So, so yeah, that was my little, my little heartfelt spiel for today. So I hope you guys don't, <laughs> don't mind that. Okay, what are we doing here? We're back in that same room over here that we had to bomb the thing for the second time. So this is the other half of that room. Let's go continue onwards. Over here, there we go. Okay, so this part was annoying the first time I did it, and I think I still mess it up every single time. But basically, we've got three things here. You know what this is? Oh, this is gonna be a sentinel guy over here. All right, come on, baby. Mm. Oh, wow, I didn't even do it fast enough. That works, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably just use my shield for these guys. It seems to be a little bit easier for us. Um, so there's gonna be three basic equations that we're gonna have to deal with, and um, not really basic equation. It just tells us what we have to do, and I always mess it up. Oh, there we go. God, it's like such a delay. Come on, baby, give me. See, look at they all fell. Is it worth it? No, I'll probably die. So you can't even grab them. You can't even. You can hear them down there. They're like, collect me, put me in your rupee bag. All right, let's go over here. Speaking of rupee bag, we should be getting our 1,000. For some reason, I usually do have my 1,000 wallets by the time I get here. Or my 1,000 rupee wallet, but I just don't remember. We don't even have to do this. We don't even have to bring these down. But I'm still going to just to show you guys. Just to show you guys. This is going to have the one man there. So we got the two, the three, and the one. Now, what's kind of confusing is you think that's what you have to do. But you... Mm, I don't remember how I did it. I don't remember how to do it. I, I get it mix-matched every single time. I swear to God, mix-matched. But basically, on the other side, we're going to have uh, some jewels that we have to hit. Some, um, no, what am I doing that for? It's, it's like, confusing because if they go along there and do that, and I don't remember. I want to say, I didn't even remember. Ah, God damn it, no way I have to go this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. I always get this part confused, too. It's like you have to lead it, and that's how you get it over here. I'm going to fall, aren't I? There's something there that I can't see? Oh, not quite. Okay, then we've got this thing that we got over here from. Uh, okay. I think we can make this. If we can do it... Oh, God, you'll notice, like, edges have, like, a... No! No! I was gonna say edges have a wall! Clearly not! God damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. That edge... The edges for probably the platforms, I'm guessing. These things have the edges. Okay, that time I made the jump. You see how he kind of did, like, a weird step there? It's like, every time I see you in the world, you always step to my ground. Dude, dude. God, that's, like, such a good song, even though I was disappointed with that album. <laughs> I really like that song, so it's like kind of a shame how they always release their good singles and then you listen to the album and then it's kind of just like mediocre. That's kind of the same way the Arctic Monkeys was. Even though I did kind of like the Arctic Monkeys new one with R -E uh, AM, which actually does stand for Arctic Monkeys, I believe. But uh, we'll go ahead and go over here and we have to actually bring these down. So we'll do that with bombs. Okay, I said, wow, bombs, I said. Why did you just change like that, man? All right, and this is kind of annoying. Nope. Oh my god, what are you doing, Link? Okay, let's reevaluate our. Okay, there. God. All right, stop it. This thing is really annoying to deal with because you walk into it and he turns you in another direction. So let's go do this. Okay, there. That'll hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Now I don't remember because you see this thing, and that's like technically the first one, and then there's the second one and the third one. They all have the same jewels in them. But then you look over there, and it's you're assuming the order means two, three, one, correct? Now I think. Like, you want to hit the second, and then the third, and then the first one, right? Because you're reading it from left to right. But I think, I think what we want to do here is actually hit this one first. So, like, the one that's across from it, we'll go ahead and hit that one. Then we'll hit the one, the third one over here. And then maybe that might be it. I don't remember because it's been a while since I've done this particular dungeon. And, you know, like I said, it's not really that hard. Nothing in here really, you know, dictates needing, you know, a guide or anything. And so I just kind of play these blind for the most part, except for when I need to go to the surface and collect stuff. Whoa. All right, so we'll hit this one third, and then we'll go ahead and hit this one next. Can we even get that from here? I don't think so. God damn it. 
All right, we'll hit that one third, and then we'll hit this third one. All right, see, it's because, like, I don't know. Am I just on a weird line of thought? Because that just might be me. But, all right, now I've got that, so we'll hit this one second. And it makes sense. It makes sense. I think it could go either way, which is why it confused me at first, and I just went with that alternate line of thought. But if not, then whatever. We can just get them all from here, practically. Ugh. All right, and then we'll go do this. And bam. Thank you, ma'am. And please, is that 